Hello, guys. How's it going? Hello. Hey, guys. Everything Hold on, good. guys. Trying to bring my camera up here. What's up? How was your day, guys? Uh, it was. Good yeah. evening, David. Good evening, David. Uh, David, uh, today I have a, a meeting, and so I will be listening only. All right, that's good. Thank you for letting me know, man. All right, no worries okay, about thank it. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what about you, uh, Frank? How was your day? Uh, it was good, I think. All right. Uh, yes. Awesome, man. Hold on. Um, I don't know what happens to the port here, but it'll work. Hold on. All right, I think that'll do it. And there you go. Hey, all right, guys. So, um, so let's move on, guys. So we were talking about models last time. Um, I'm not gonna ask David, uh, guys, because it's still working. But so, anyways, huh? So, what have you done today, Santos? Sorry. So, what have you done today? Uh, today I fixed my cell phone. Uh, and I was I was working, uh, but doing workout, you know. Doing workout? Yes. Nice, nice. What what sort of workout do you do? Uh, bicycle. I ride my bicycle. Nice. Where where do you ride your bicycle? Um. There is not a specific place, but I always try to make at least uh, 15 kilometers. Oh, really? Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Of course, if I don't go uh, to ride my bicycle, I, I, I go to play soccer. Oh, okay. All right. That's awesome. I'd love to play basketball. Oh, that's that's a good exercise too. All right, very good. Uh, all right, all right, very good, man, very good. Okay. Uh, everybody sleep. Everybody what? Late. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I have no idea what happened. Anyways, it's time to get started, guys. All right, even if it's with you. Um. Uh, we, we need to continue, guys, uh, talking about past models. Okay, so let's do a quick overview of what we saw, guys, which is part of the, hold on, which is part of the section four, guys. How are, uh, by the way, guys, how are you doing with your, uh, with section four? It's okay. All right. All right. We're good. Rafael, welcome. Hello, David. <clears throat> Hello. How was your day, Rafael? So tired. I, tired. We have some problems in the work. All right. We're good. All right. That's great. So let's go, guys. Uh, let's talk about. Let's go over the models, okay? Let's, uh, so remember guys, we use models to speculate, right? That something happened or didn't happen. Welcome, Nuri, nice to see you here. All right, so we, use, so we use that guys to specify that something happened or did not happen, okay? All right, very good. Um, so let's, go, let's talk about, you know, what happens, guys, when we use other types of models, right? We talk about um, we talk about having the model, uh, having having the the past models, guys, including half, right? So that's basically what what makes a past model, right? So uh, let's take a look at the model might. Rafael, could you please help me read? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Yep. <clears throat> Use might to talk about something in the past. 
which didn't happen. The right. car came. The car came around the corner. So the car came around the corner so fast. I might have been killed. Use might to speculate something that didn't happen. All right, very good. So the car came around the corner so fast. I might have been killed. So guys, we're talking about something that. They didn't happen, right? So past models, guys, can also be used to talk about the things that didn't happen, okay? If you talk about it in um, in the end. So, anyways, okay, uh, we talk about we talked about my my guys, but let's take a look at um, model perfect continuous, guys. So, what about models that are continuous in the past? All right. So, how do you talk about something, guys, that you are assuming, okay, that you are speculating? in the past, okay? You can either use, you know, um, models with the base form and you can use, you know, models with, with the continuous form, right? So let me give you some examples, guys. All right, so uh, let's look about. Past model continuous, okay? All right. All right, so um, what is the first part, Rafael? What is the past, the first part of a sentence using the past model? The past model. Um... Yeah, okay, past model, right? I'll give you a tip, guys. All right, might have, should have, must have. All right, so how do you make a structure? Uh, how do you make a sentence with this structure? With the subject plus past model plus part, part plus participle. Very good. Subject plus past model plus past model. Very good. Past participle plus yeah. past participle. Okay, and very a good. A complement. Very good. And then you have a complement. Okay. Great job. Okay. So past model might have, right? Should have, must have, subject, past model, past participle, and complement, right? So far, is it good? All right, very good. All right. Um, okay, what else? All right. So here, guys, okay, how do we turn this into a sentence? Nuri, how do we give me a subject and then give me a past model? Okay. Um, I must have. I must have, okay. Mm -hmm. I must have. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, I must have, okay. So we have the subject I must have, and then what? Um. <laughs> hey, I'll give you another example, okay? All right. Have you ever heard this song? says um have you ever heard this a classic <laughs> okay right <laughs> nice. are we using a I, yes exactly right uh, are we using a past model here yes we're using a past model here guys okay must have must must have right must have is, is a must have guys okay it must have been love got it so what is that saying? What, what is that saying to you, Rafael? What is that saying to you? This is talking about speculation, right? So you're speculating that it must have been love, okay? Que debió haber sido love. Got it? All right? You're not sure. You're just assuming that it was that, right? You can say it should have been love, right? Should have. Repeat guys. Should have. Should have. Should have. Should have been. All right. It should have been love. Very good. Okay. All right. What else, guys? All right. Now, now, Nuri, right? Don't worry okay. if you make mistakes, okay? Just try to finish your example, okay? So let's say I, right? I, and then you said, I'm sorry, must have, right? So what do uh -huh. we have afterwards? Must have. Yeah. Cut. Cut. Very good. Must have cut, uh-huh. My, uh, my hair for Christmas. My hair for Christmas, right? 
because you want to make the toxico happy, right? <laughs> all right. So very good. So that's the reason why. Okay. Rafael, all right. Give me one example. Okay. Give me, give me something. All right. Think about something, a, a real life example. Everybody think about a real life example. Okay. Tell me something that you, you are speculating about your, the past. What do you think that must've been? Hey, um, I, I, I think that I, I must, uh, no, 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 I, hold on, is I, I should have, um, started before. I, sh I should have, I should have started before, uh-huh. At the university. I should have studied before at the university. Okay. Okay. You can say, you know, okay. No, this would be, I should have, I should have studied in college. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So we're good guys. Okay. Uh, Rafael Mayen, give me your example. Um, I could have prepared. I could have prepared. All right. I could have prepared my car earlier this morning. Re repair, teacher. Repair it. Oh, repaired. Okay. Repair. 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 Okay. My, My car, car earlier, earlier this morning. This this what? This Monday. Morning. Morning. Oh, this morning. Okay. So this morning. morning. All right. Great. Good job. Okay. So see you guys. Now, what happens with the past model continuous? Okay. The difference between past model continuous, guys, okay, it is a speculation over a period of time. Okay. Or a speculation of something happening of something continuous happening, okay? A speculation of something continuous happening, okay? So let, let me give you an example, guys, okay? Let's say that, okay, let's say that I had, you know what, let's say that Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne had a car accident, okay? So my question to you is, guys, what do you think, all right? might have uh, i'm sorry what might have happened okay what might have happened guys all right this might guess is que debió haber pasado, right what might have happened everybody what might have happened what might have happened what might have happened all right so you can say guys he must have or he might have or she, right, might have, or you can say he um, could have, right? Now, there is a difference here, guys. You can So we need to use the continuous form, okay? Because we're talking about the car, car crash, okay? He must have, tell me something, guys, when, when a car, when, a, when you have a car accident, tell me something that is continuously happening, guys. What action is continuously happening? Happening. Driving. Driving, okay. Of Driving. Very good, okay. So how do we put that into the past? Uh huh. He must have drive. He must have no. No, he must have driving. No, we're missing. Wow. A, he must have been. Must. So guys, the difference is that we're gonna use been, okay. So. Uh. It is basically the same structure, guys, but they are all going to have been, okay? And then, guys, we need ing, all right? So he must have been? He must have been what? Driving. Driving. Very good. So he must have been driving. Driving what? So fast. Very fast, right? Not so fast. Very fast, okay? All right. Um. Okay. He might have been what, guys? Talking on the phone. Very good, okay, that's another cause of accidents, right? Talking on the phone, okay? All right, what about, uh, he could have been what? Anybody else, give me another, well, I need some, another example, guys, from someone else. Chatting. All right, uh, he must have been what? Chatting, chatting. Shutting, texting. texting. No, no, uh -huh. uh, texting. Yes, texting. He must have been texting. Very good. Mm -hmm. He must have. He could. He could have been texting, huh? Mm-hmm. 
On his phone. On his phone. Very good. So he could have been texting on his phone. All right. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Very good. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. What else could we assume, guys? Alberto Marin, what do you think that could have happened? Because, you know, Cheyenne had a car, Cheyenne had a car accident. What do you think might have happened? He must have been drunk. Okay, he must have been drunk. Very good. Okay, he must have been drunk. All right. Now, now, guys, this is a, now these guys. Let me ask you something. Is this guys, is this past model continuous or is this past no. model perfect? It's past model perfect, right? Because guys, you have okay. subject plus past model plus past participle. Okay. The, the right. ing. Ing. Drink. We need the ing. Drinking. Exactly. Must drinking. Have drinking. It must have been drinking. 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 All right. Or drinking. All right. Wait. What? Or chata feliz, right? Uh -huh. Happy or chata, right? Very good. Okay. Tequila. Tequila. All right. Very <laughs> good, guys. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna write down the. Uh, I'm gonna type in, guys, the the structure here, and I need you. I need everybody, guys, to. You know what? Let's do something, okay? Actually, guys, let's. You know what? Let's let's play a game, okay? All right. Let's let's actually move a little bit, okay? Because I want you, I don't know if it's fun, you know, maybe we, 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 we do the activity again, right? But this is what you're going to do, okay? I want, first of all, everybody needs to have the camera turned on so they can play. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to play. I know that some of you are driving, some of you are at work, so don't worry, I understand, okay? But everyone who's going to play, guys, they need to have the camera turned on, okay? So Francisco, for example, right, if you can have the camera turned on, that would be great, right? All right, and this is what you're gonna do, guys, okay? Everybody, the last person to bring me the object, guys, and show it on the screen, the last person to stand up and bring me the object on the screen is gonna be the person to participate and give me the sentence, okay? Got it? So for example, if I, if I say, you know, um, all right, bring me, bring me a cell phone, okay? Everybody is gonna stand up and show me the cell phone on the camera, got it? Okay. Got it, guys? Alberto, all right, we get it, guys? Got it, got it. All right, very good, okay, all right. So, uh, Tati, all right, Kathy, let's turn on the cameras. All right, so you can <laughs> participate, okay. All right, very good. I want you guys to, the, the person, guys, my next participant is gonna be the person to show me, the last person to show me some pills, okay? Show me pills, guys, pills, all right? Show me pills, guys, the last person to show me pills. Me. <laughs> Show right, the last one, guys. The last one. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Right. So far, we have uh, Tati. Uh, Tati, you got him, right? Kathy, you got him. Okay. I think that would be Rafael Mayen. He's he went to the farm. He went to the doctor, guys. All right. Very good. Plus <laughs> for Rafael Mayen, guys. Well done, Rafa. <laughs> Rafa. Okay. So, all right. Let me ask you something, guys. So, Rafael Mayen, right? Rafael Mayen. All right. Took. A very long time to come back. My question to you is, what do you think might have happened? Okay. All right. ¿Qué creen que debió haber pasado? All right. Let's assume. Okay. All right, Rafa. All right. So you're gonna be, you're gonna be, well, you're gonna give me the example, right? But what do you think might have happened? Right? Why did you take so long? He might have. No, no, I mean, you, you give me the example, uh, Rafael Mayen, because you were the last one, okay? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I must. Uh huh. I must. Um, I could, uh, I could have. Uh huh. I could have, um, let me see. I couldn't have. I couldn't have what? I couldn't have, um, find my, 
Nope. All right. Let's help him, guys. Okay, guys, why do you think? Okay, all right. Thank you, Rafa. Okay. Don't okay, worry. Okay. okay? We're, we'll give examples. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. What do you think might have happened to Rafael? Why do you think he came late? Why do you think he take he took so long? He must have been working. He must have been walking. Very good. Well done. All right. Good working. job. Working. Uh, work, working. Working. He must has been losing oh. the bills. He must. Okay. Now, hold on, guys. By the way, this doesn't change, guys. Even if it is in third person, because of the model. Model models have to to work with verbs in base form. Okay. So he must have been. You said he must have. He must has you said been losing the pills. Losing. Okay. Losing the pills. Very good. Now, guys, I, this one is a very good example. All right. A big round of applause, guys. Okay. Good job. A big round of applause to me, guys, because that is wrong. <laughs> <All right>? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right? Guys, why is this wrong? There is something wrong here. Yes, you're following the structure. But it's not, it's not your mistake, okay? It's because I have not explained this, all right? So it's basically my bad. But let me ask you something, okay? So there is something, guys. There is something that doesn't make sense here. What is it? I would never recommend you to translate it, guys. But even in Spanish, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. How can I say, Debería haber estado perdiendo las pastillas. Can you be, puedes, puedes estar perdiendo algo constantemente, guys? Like, like that? No, right? So, guys, there are, there are some verbs. That's okay. That's okay. There are some verbs, guys, which are in, in, in continuous form that, are, that cannot be used like this. And the reason why, guys, is because uh, the reason why is because they are called stative verbs, okay? All right? Te dicen el estado de algo, okay? So, losing, guys, basically, is a state, okay? All right, you can say he, they must have been losing the game, but you cannot be losing the pills. He must have been losing the pills. All right, yes, you can say, you know, but it doesn't make sense in the context, okay? Si, lo, si es correcto, all right. It is technically correct, but it doesn't make sense with the context. Do you, do you understand what I mean, guys? All right, yeah, people, yes, in Spanish, people in Spanish wouldn't say, debía haber estado perdiendo las pasillas. Si puedes, pero no soy correcto, right? But it is correct, okay? Thank you, all right? Just be careful with the context, but it is correct. Okay, good job. Um, Rafael, do you have your example? I don't know if, if we can say he must have been losing, I must be, he must have been losing the pills, looking the pills in the wrong place. Let's use might have just because we I, want I might have lose, I mm -hmm. might have looking the pills. No, no, he might follow the structure. He might have, right? He might have. And then what? He might have been this looking. Very good. Okay, so he might have been been looking, looking, looking. Okay, the pills. No, looking for right. Looking for Th the this pills. Is, this is a phrasal verb, guys. Okay, looking for right. You're looking for the pills. In the wrong place. All right. In know. the wrong place. Okay. He might have been looking for the pills in the wrong place. All right. Pretty good, guys. All right. Um. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay. All right. Next one, guys. Okay. Let's see. Francisco, give me, give me an example. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, Edwin should should have been uh, saving money. Uh, along the year for okay. that car. Edwin, all right, so Edwin, Edwin, not, not with a, a G, right? Edwin should have been saving money for, or you can say throughout, right? Throughout the whole year, okay? For a car. To save, okay. Oh, to buy a car. For a car right? To buy a car, right? That sounds better, to buy a car, very good. Very good, all right, super good job, guys, okay? All right, now, guys, do me a favor, okay? I'm gonna couple you up, guys. I'm gonna take a screenshot, guys, okay, of this, of the examples, and I want everyone, okay, to give me, guys, to write down 10 examples, okay? You're gonna write down 10 examples in your notebook, and your partner, well, you're gonna do five and five, okay? Your partner's gonna write five, 
and you're gonna write five and you're gonna explain, all right, these sentences to each other, okay? Now I want guys, all right, I want five sentences uh, with past models, okay? So basically guys, if you forget the, you know, if you don't know exactly what you're supposed to write down, it's this right here, okay? This is the structure guys, okay? Got it? All right, so that is the structure, okay? So very good. I'm gonna go ahead and send you the screenshot then. Okay. Hold on, guys. Let me get you into the breakout sessions. And let's go. All right, Kathy, somebody's waiting for you. Uh, Francisco's waiting for you. Teacher, David is in the meeting. David? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. He, he only listens yes. to the class. <laughs> All right, okay, yes, I understand. All right. Okay. Hold on. Oh my God. I, I, uh, oh God, hold on. I need to get you back here. All right, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, there's something that that I forgot here. Okay, I'm gonna have to type in the structure back again, guys. So we'll do it like the first time. Okay. So pass model continues. Okay. Pass models. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, I forgot, guys, that if I close this window, you know the structure will change. All right, so I'm going to type it in here, guys, real quick so I can send it to the WhatsApp group. First things first, guys, the first thing that we need is the subject. And what else? Past models, right? And then what else? Past model. Ben. Okay, we have Ben, okay? And then the ING form of the room, okay? All right, an example would be... What would be an example? Right quick, guys. Sorry, guys. So, example, right? We can say. He, he have must, been have he must have been drinking. Him. Drinking, right? He must have been drinking. Okay. All right. Very good. I'm gonna take a screenshot from here now, guys, because I thought that I could pull pull up the uh, whiteboard again, but it didn't allow me to. And I'm sorry, guys. Let's. <laughs> Let's work again. Um, Jenny, you said that, yeah, David is in a meeting, right? So let's go, guys. All right, I already took the screenshot. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group. Cook, cook. I think it's okay. Um, my example, he should have been work, working all night. Uh, I'm looking for an exit sample. He, he must have been 
Driving very fast. Must have been driving very fast. Okay, good. David is correct. She must has been swimming at the pool. She must has is incorrect because you never use. Yeah, you need to use the base form of the verb after models. What is because I I I try to understand, but I can come the last class. Okay, All right. That's okay, right? So uh, do you see the structure in the, the, the structure that I sent to the WhatsApp group? Yes, the past model is mid have, should have, must have. Exactly, okay. So use, all right, so use the structure that you see there, okay? <laughs> Remember that if you don't come to class, we, I, I'll be, you know, I'm happy to explain it to you again, but I will be delaying the class, right? Because you're supposed to watch the video if you don't come to class, right? So, all right, so we're good. Uh, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that Rafael would be more than glad to help you too, right? Yes. All right, let's go, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Eight vegetables. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Mm. My sister. Must have. Cut, cut the garden, the garden. My sister? My sister must have cut the gar garden. Okay. Um. Now it's you. I I must fast today. Okay, sounds good. It sounds much better now. Very class today. Okay, bothering my classmates during class today. Okay. The other example, uh, she must have been cleaning her room. Must have been cleaning. Mm -hmm. A room. That's it. All right, any questions, guys? I don't think so. Right. Okay. My cat should have been playing with the Mouse before eating, <laughs> before to eat. Okay. Um, well, uh, I, sh I should, I should have uh, been eating for 6 p.m. Because 
not have been eating vegetable. Mm, okay, and I I should have uh, been uh, buying uh, the new television after Black Friday. Now, now there, there's one thing, okay? I should have been buying the new television after Black Friday. Isn't it better to... Um, no, it, it, it really haven't happened the Black Friday, right? Okay, I must have bought, okay? I, okay, because it's not something that you're going to be continuously doing, all right? I must have uh, bought, okay? In those cases, you can, you need to use, all right, um, you, you need to more use this form of the verb, yes. Uh, very good. Continue, guys. I should, uh, For section three and midterm, 16, November 16. And for the section, section four, four, November 23rd. Oh. Thank you. Okay. We have the 10 phrases. You got the 10 phrases? Yes. Yes. All right, great. All right. Um, okay. So give me one second, guys, because not everybody's finished, okay? So. Yes. I, I practice with Rafael, baby. All right. Now, do you know how to do it now? Sorry? Let, let yeah. me hear you, right? Let me hear you. What, what do you have, uh, Maylene? The, I press the, the exercise. Okay. So tell me one, one of your examples. What would be one of your examples? He must, he must has been driving a lot. Oh, okay. Uh, no, sorry. Drinking. No, 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 no. You're making the same mistake that we corrected a couple of minutes before. Really? What's wrong, what's wrong with it? Yes, yes. He must, he must have, not has. Why are you saying has? Sorry, it's have. Okay, all right. All right, let's keep working, okay? Because you need to understand that part, okay? But good job, good job. Thanks, baby. Another one, she might have. There is a teacher, maybe we can ask. Mm -hmm. if we can write. Yeah, we, were, we were talking about an, one example. In I say, I should have not been drink, dry, drinking before I drive. It sounds that, that, that it that's fine. It contain the that's structure. Fine. I shouldn't have been drinking before. It's the Driving or before I drive? No, I shouldn't have been drinking before driving. Before driving. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we can use like in positive and negative sentences, right? Yeah, yeah, you okay. can use it like that, okay? Like the rest of the structure is absolutely great. Okay. For example, you okay. must have been Asking before you go shopping. Sorry, Jenny, repeat this again. You must have been asking before you go shopping. Is correct? Before going shopping. You must have been asking. Asking, and I would like to ask before you go shopping. Before you, you buy in the in the store or, or you must have been asking before you go to show.
The next one will be I must have been preparing my cup of coffee. Sorry, I can hear you. I must have right. prepared. Prepare. I must have oh. been preparing my cup of coffee. You should, you should be. Okay. Right, so how are we doing, guys? We're doing fine. Fine so far. All right. I'm driving faster than the speed limits. You can say that, teacher. You should be you should be you should be driving faster have than been. the. You should been. You should. No, you should have. have been, been. Yes, um, you should have been. Exactly. I'm sorry. You should have been driving faster than the speed limits. Than the, than the speed limit. That's than the speed limit. Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, Rafael must have been helping for his homework. Must have helping for must his have been helping. Mm -hmm. All right, then, uh, guys. Yes. All right, let's time to time to go back, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Pretty good. All right, guys. So last model. Okay. All right, guys. I ha I noticed, okay, so I noticed something here, which is, hold on. Okay, I noticed something here, guys, okay? We're having issues with this, okay? Please ask, ask questions away, guys, okay? Here, guys, all right. I'm gonna write something uh, here, guys. Models, modify verbs in base form, okay? This is a model, guys, okay? All right, a model, guys, let's say we use the model must, okay? Must. Now, these guys is gonna modify the verb that follows, okay? In order to modify something, okay, it needs to be in base form, okay? Got it? In base form. Okay, so it modifies, it modifies base form of verbs. Okay, base form. Okay. And what is the base form of verbs, guys? You know, must run. Okay. 
Now, so when you use guys, okay, remember it needs to modify base form. So guys, is this base form, base form yes or no, have? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, now yes. let me ask you something. If we do this guys, this is modifying this, all right? This is, a, this is agreeing with this, right? And this has to agree with this guys, okay? This, this needs to modify this, okay? Mod modify that, okay? So guys, he must, okay, these two guys are together. They're working together, okay? So, all right, so this guys, think about it, okay? This is, this is your wife, okay? This is your wife, not your ex, okay? <laughs> all right, because, okay, this is not gonna go with, all right? She's not gonna go with him, right? She's gonna stay with you. You're a must, right? You, right? So, so uh, necessary in la vida, right? All right, you're a must have. Okay, so these two are together, guys, forever, right? So see, ella no le, right? No se mete con él. Got it? Never, guys, all right? So, because of that, guys, saying this, he must has, all right? Cumazo, right? That's like un cumazo directo, guys, right? Corpazo, all right? So, guys, do not say he must have, okay? All right? Now, another thing that I noticed, guys, in the examples is, is this, okay? All right, so when we say he must have, and then you use an ing here, guys. Mm -hmm. He must have bring in. That doesn't exist, okay? That is double, you know, kumaso and corbaso at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, this is an auxiliary. What is this, guys? She an auxiliary guys needs another verb that's why it's an auxiliary because it's helping the other verb okay the help the, the the verb that falls okay he must have okay you're always guys i put it like this guys must have guys must have been okay this whole thing is the auxiliary okay been okay in continuous form guys these two are together okay these two are married he must have been and then you need ing all right so very good. So let's take a look at your examples, right? Nuri, uh, what example yeah. can you give me? Uh, he must have been drinking. All right, that's the same example I gave, right? Give me another one, right? Uh, okay, he must have been sleeping. All right, so, so oh. he must have been sleeping. Good job. All right, Tatiana, give me another one. As you go to the doctor. I should go to the doctor. If you say I should go to the doctor, that mean that is fine, but that is not the that is not a past um, model continuous, you know. We need a past model continuous, right? So we need to follow the structure that we got here. Don't worry. He so have been he should have been traveling. Traveling, right? He should better, very good. That's perfect. Okay. Jenny, give me yours, Jenny. Uh, he could have been listening to instruction. He should have been listening to instruction. To to that to that instructions. Okay. Instructions. instructions. Right. Instructions. Very good. All right, good job, uh, Jenny. Rafael Mayen, give me your example. He must have been not missing classes this week. He must not have been missing classes this week. Good job. Um, let's see, Maylin, give me your example, Maylin. He must have been swimming. He must have been swimming. Very good. All right. Very good. What, da, 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 da. Let's see. Very good. Uh, Rafael Eduardo, go ahead. They could have been playing soccer. 
They could have been playing soccer. Very good. Good job. Uh, they could have been playing soccer. Let's see. Tatiana, give me your example. Oh, did you already give me your? No, you already gave me yours, right? Sorry. Kathy Carranza, give me your example. I must have been listening to music. Must have been listening to music. Very good. All right. Uh, who's missing, guys? Francisco, give me your example. I, I'm not sure if you already gave me yours. You, sh you should have been. Uh, I don't know if I can use exciting. No, exciting is not. Is that an action? Is exciting an action? Yes or no? If you answer that question, you know if you should use it or not. Oh, okay. Guys, is exciting an action? Yes or no? No. All right. Can you can you can you ask your friend? Mira que está haciendo puyos. Estoy excitando. Right. That sounds weird, right? <laughs> Estoy emocionando. <laughs> Estoy emocionando, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, so it's yeah. Uh, okay. So so what do you what do you think? You should have been uh, working out uh, this uh, month. Okay, you should have been working this month. Okay, good job. All right, and that's it, guys. Okay, all right, that's pretty much it. Got it. All right, very good, guys. So, um, so this is what we got, guys. Okay, all right. Um, any questions? All right, did we understand, guys? Do you have any doubts? No, no, teacher. Are we good? Are we good? All right, pretty good, guys, because it's not time to go. Okay, all right, we need to continue. <laughs> <laughs> all right very good okay so let's move on guys and we can you know uh leave this topic all right so that's the continuous we we talked about uh the continuous form are we seeing the presentation guys all right yes very good so uh yes. so how, how do we come up with negative sentences right the way we come up with negative sentences guys <laughs> right is putting the particle not between where between what The verb model and the have. Okay, between the model verbs, right? Between the model verbs and the world, the word have. Okay. Okay, so so pretty good. Um, so that's it, guys. Okay, all right. So you put not before may or might and have, right? Okay, so. Um, what about can we contract it guys can we can we say this you know can we talk about is uh, about this in a contracted form yes or no no right we can't okay all right so uh, i mean yes yes uh actually what, what do you think guys okay all right, you can guys with this with 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 this uh, model, okay? Okay, must, okay. But that's the, the we mustn't do it. You know, we mustn't have done that, okay? So like that, we mustn't have done that. But that's 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 very British, guys. Okay, okay, we must, okay. Uh, but the the structure you follow is this, guys. Okay, all right. Super, super good, guys. Okay. Um, hold on. All right. So if you want to, how do you, you know, how do you tell politely, how do you want to politely ask somebody that you speculate about what they might have, you know, what may have happened? Okay. Now, if you want to do that, guys, you can use this. Okay. All right. This is what I called, guys. Okay. All right. Question with school 
that doesn't exist in English, guys. Okay, right? Preguntar con escuela, right? <laughs> that, that that is not okay. That's not how it's called, guys. Okay, don't come, come like that, right? I know I say, ah, el teacher me dijo que it's called, you know, questions with school, right? <laughs> me mintió, right? Like my ex, no. Uh, <laughs> so no, guys, okay, right? So no. Uh, but basically, guys, this is like saying, you know, do you think you might have, you know, you might have, uh, do, you, do you think that he might have been driving fast? Do you, do you think he might, have, he might have been drunk? Do you think he might have been drunk? Okay. Now, this is uh, how you ask a question, how you ask a question, guys. Okay. Do you think, okay. So, the, the structure is like this, guys. Do you think, all right. And then, you know, you follow the same, right. Plus subject plus model plus have plus been plus past participle, right. Got it. So, this is a structure that you follow someone to ask about something that might have happened politely. Okay, something that you might have in it. Like, Mira, pensas que se podría haber, se podría haber eh, ido a la luz. Got it? Uh, pensas que podría haber llamado antes. Got it, guys? All right. So that's how you speculate, okay? All right. But, um, so then my favorite, guys, okay, we, we ran out of time, but uh, just take a screenshot of the structure, okay? Because you, you will have, you will practice this later. All right. Any questions, guys? Comments, complaints? Anything? Good? All right. Pretty good, guys. Thank you very much, guys. It's been awesome talking to you. I'll see you later. Take care, guys. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.